not everybody likes art, but everybody likes chocolate. They really do weave together because of art is used in the chocolate, so that my passion is in both. Hello, my name's Tony Fagan. I'm the chocolatier here at Cockington Court. I've been here as a chocolatier for the last uh, eight years, but in total I've been here for 12 years nearly. I trained as a commie chef back in the 80s. I worked at the Inn on the Park in Park Lane. That also gave me my first insight to chocolate because back in those days, a lot of the five-star establishments would have chocolate rooms. Artisan maker means that everything's done by hand, hand finished, hand painted. We do here bean to bar, so we actually have beans in from Peru and we grind them. We make our own 100% raw bean to bar. But my real passion has um, also been art and it's, it's, it's popped its head up from time to time. But as I've got older, I'm doing more and more commissions, but also art links into chocolate because my chocolate is art too. It does cross over in the art form because you can paint in chocolate, uh, you can pipe in chocolate, you can do all sorts in chocolates. How the art crossed over into the chocolate, I think it was probably the sculpture trail in 2017 when I applied and did the first sculpture for the sculpture and it was in chocolate, which I think surprised the curators of the sculpture trail when I put in my application because they didn't expect it and I did a chocolate swan um, and I think that's where it first crossed over. 3D street art is something I first came across in a place called Bézier in the south of France. It stretched my imagination to how it was done. Um, it's, it's not nothing new, it's, it goes back to, to um, the 15th century where artists were doing it and it's all about projection and it's creating an image that can only see, be seen correctly from a certain viewpoint uh, and if you see it from a, the wrong viewpoint it's distorted or it's stretched and uh, I, I was slightly fascinated by the mathematics of how to create these images and this year for the sculpture trail I put in an application rather tongue-in-cheek that doing literally one of these because I believed a 2D painting became a 3D subject once once completed and it was accepted and I think that's what led me into then taking the commissions from from the court director to do the various pieces around the court. People photograph, people are, are love the crocodile, people are actually sitting in the mouth and being photographed, whole families. Uh, the bridge, uh, we created a hashtag which was Cockington 3D and um, it surprised me that actually there's a lot of pictures of dogs sitting on the bridge, which is quite amusing. But uh, they should survive um, with a little bit of maintenance programme. I'm hoping they'll survive certainly this season. I think it's all about the scenery, the coast, the sea, the light, how unpredictable it is, stormy one minute, calm the next, mild, but then cold. And um, I think it's definitely, it's, it, uh, there's lots of artists I think inspired by living down in the West Country, um, by, this, by what's around them, the nature around them. And uh, it certainly helps me. I pick out bits and pieces I like from it and uh, hopefully it comes across in other things I do.